Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're making this cute little guy. So the colors I used are brown and yellow. <laughs> Pretty simple and some black for the end of his tail. That's it. Brown, yellow, and black. And I used some safety eyes. I also used 4.5 sketch colors and everything else. And I'll meet you right back here and we can start this guy. So this time I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the video in the order of the PDF. Well, I'm going to try to. So we're going to start, um, we're going to start with the head. We start building the head from, oh, I can't really see it. Is it got the main in the way? From back to front. So we're starting with yellow. We're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. You're going to need a stitch marker because this is amigurumi. Whatever yarn you're using, don't just use a 4.5 because if it calls for a 4.5, we're doing this in amigurumi. You'll have to go down in hook size. This yarn I'm using calls for a 5.5. So because we're doing this in amigurumi, we're not going to slip stitch, we're not going to chain two. I'm going to need a stitch marker. We're going to go right into this next stitch and we're going to just start two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. I've pulled my magic ring tight and I'm weaving in this, but it's completely up to you what you want to do. You can sew it in, you can weave it in, you can do both. So one single crochet and an increase. The increase is two single crochets in the same space. So one single crochet, two single crochets all the way around gives you 18 stitches. Next rounds can be two single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 24 stitches. That's number one with the marker, always number one. That's two single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 30 stitches. So that's number one. That's three single crochets, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat.
Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 36 stitches. Number one. That's four single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your last increase round is going to be five single crochets and an increase, and this brings you up to 42 stitches. That's number one. That's five single crochets, and then your increase of so two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So this is what you should have. So for the next eight rows, we're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So this is my eight rows, that's what you should have. So we're going to start decreasing. We're still staying with the yellow. We're going to do five single crochet decrease because we ended with a five single crochet increase. So that's number one. That is five single crochets. My decrease is going to be invisible, so I'm going to use the front loops. So my blooper for this video is uh, the reason that pause screen has multiple rows on it that you just came from is because when I thought I was recording, I wasn't. And when I wanted to record, I actually shut the recording off, not knowing that I was recording. So that's my blooper for this video. <laughs> now back to some reality. So your next round is going to be one single crochet in each stitch and then at the end of it we're going to change to brown. So I'm on my very last stitch. I'm going to go in and pull up a loop and I'm going to finish it with my brown. So I tie these together just so I don't have to weave because uh, it certainly does make for a wonky piece. So I leave my hook in there so I know how tight to make the knot. I cut off my yellow because we will not be going back to it. And with brown, I want you to start off with three single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's three single crochets and then your decrease. And repeat.
So this is what you should have. So I want to put the eyes in so we can start stuffing this. So put your thing at the back. Let's do everything at the front. I use 12 millimeter eyes, safety eyes, and their backs. So I counted according to my computer. 16 between the 16th and 17th row. Now I do know, to give you perspective, that it's just a couple of above the brown nose, which we've already started. So Fifteen and sixteen. And I did seven stitches in between, so you have to be able to see the stitches. Just make sure they're in the same line. All right, so when you're happy with it, you can put your backs on. Please use your backs. There's a reason they're safety eyes. And then we can stuff it. So I like to push my stuffing out and then fill the hole. That way I know I'm getting a decent, decent sized stuff. And I'd like to pack it down as well. So I will finish later. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 24 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 18 stitches. That's number one, that's number two, and then your decrease all the way around. So for the next two rounds, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. So your last round, last decrease, is going to be one single crochet and a decrease. And then you're going to have to make sure this is full and we're going to cinch the rest of it closed. So that's one single crochet. You jump right into your decrease. So we can fasten off. You just need a cinching tail. So let's make sure this is stuffed properly. I don't want his head to be too pointy at the end. So we're going to cinch this closed by going through the front loop of the first stitch and out the front loop of the next stitch. So 
So pop across with a couple of knots. I do a couple, you don't probably have to do a couple. Oh, I hate darker colors when it comes to... And then we can weave. So, that's the beginning. We're going to sew the head onto the body in case you're wondering what we're doing. It's not something I normally do, but in this case, he turned out to be super cute because of it. So next on the PDF list is antlers. So this is our antler. It's super duper small, so it's pretty quick. We start with brown. So with your brown, you're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. Your first round is going to be one single crochet and an increase because we, we want to put a little bit of a point on the top but not much because it's an antler, you know. So that's my one single crochet and then my increase of two single crochets in the same space for my next stitch. I repeat this all the way around. It will give you nine stitches. the next two rows I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these nine stitches and then we're going to go to yellow So I am on my last stitch. I gotta take this marker out, it's kind of in my way. I'm on my last stitch. I'm gonna go to yellow, so I'm gonna pull up a loop. And I'm gonna switch to my yellow. And with my yellow, I'm just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. I've still got nine stitches. So your next round is I stuff this by the way so if you want to stuff it before you do the next few rows <clears throat> this next row is just going to be one single crochets and a decrease it's one single crochet and then my decrease so this brings is going to bring me down to six stitches So now that I have six stitches, I'm going to do four rows, and uh, that's it. I'm going to fasten off. So it's nice and short, but make sure you're stuffing it because it is pretty tight in there, as it is. But as long as you can get a finger, that means you can get a hook end in there, too. So for the next four rows, six single crochets. And I will see you on the other side.
So that's my antler. I'm going to make two of those. Just make sure you're stuffing them to be the same size. So I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to do the ear next. And then I'm going to leave you for this chapter to... You're going to need a sewing tail. I'm going to leave you with this chapter to um, do your second pieces at the end of the chapter and then you could probably get them all sewn on before chapter two so this is what the ear looks like so that's what we're going to do next so it's just all yellow so you're going to start your ear off with a magic ring of four single crochets we can get that point on top of it a little bit That's my four single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. That's not under both pieces. I do not know why this happens. I don't pull that tight. I know what happens to everybody else, but... So two single crochets in each stitch. I don't really think you need a marker, but... For those that f struggle to find where your stitches are, it might help. So this will leave you with eight stitches, obviously. So, your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these eight stitches. Again, just trying to keep the point on there. So I'm just going to flip this right side in. And your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. So that's one single crochet. And then the next stitch gets your increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. And this will give you 12 stitches. So for the next seven rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my seven rows. That's what you should have. We're not stuffing this, by the way. Your last round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease, and this will bring you down to eight stitches. And that's our final row. One single crochet, and then you jump right into our decrease. All the way around. It doesn't matter if you're doing front loop or the whole stitch, because it's our last row. So I'm sure it'll be fine whichever one you do. Well, it'll be fine no matter where you are in the project. So, that is it. We're going to fasten off. And we're going to whip stitch this closed. And then we're going to do a little fully sewy stuff. I'll show you. So, make sure your tail's long enough for sewing and then for sewing. 
and then make sure it's over on the side like that. So we need this cute little fold in there. But first we need to whip stitch this closed. First I'm just going to go through this just to pull that little bumpy down. And then I'm going to whip stitch. So I want you to fold this ever so slightly. It doesn't matter what kind of stitch you do here, whether it's a whip stitch or whether it's not a whip stitch. I'm just going to sew normally. I don't know what stitches are called because I'm not a sewer, but... And then I'm going to sew up here a little bit. And I'm just picking up a couple of strands, if you can see that. Like, I'm not going extremely through the whole thing. I'm just going to pick up a couple of pieces. And then that just kind of creates this little shape for the ear. And then I'm just going to kind of scooch back down here where I can start sewing. And that's my ear, so my two ears and my two antlers. So I'm going to put the pattern on the screen and then you can build your second part. And uh, it's kind of hard to see where I've sewed them on, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm around the eighth and ninth row from the back of Magic Ring for both antlers and ears. So that gives you an idea of kind of where to sew them on. So when we come back in chapter two, these need to be sewn on. It's kind of your homework is to make, oh, I just lost one, is to make your second pieces and then um, get them sewn onto the head. And I'll see you in chapter two. Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two. So we're gonna start the body of the giraffe. So that's what's next on the PDF. And then we're gonna go do the arms and the legs. So if you're wondering about the PDF, maybe you're just new to this channel. Um, if you join the channel membership, uh, you can have access to all my PDFs. It's only $2.99 a month or $4.99 a month. Let's jump right into this. So we're gonna start with the magic ring of six single crochets.
Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. We're still doing amigurumi, so there's no slip stitching or chaining. We're just going to go right into that stitch. That's number one. That's where your marker goes. So bring it up to 12 stitches. Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet with your marker and then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat, this will bring you up to 18 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 24 stitches. That's number one, two, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 30 stitches. That's number one. That's three single crochets, and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 36 stitches. <coughs> That's number one. That's four single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. Repeat. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase. Actually, this is the last increase round to 42 stitches. So that's number one. That's five single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So you should have 42 stitches for the next 10 rows. I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So this is what your 10 rows should look like. Get my counter out of the way. So you should have this little cuppy looking thingy. And we're going to start decreasing. So your next round is going to be five single crochets and a decrease. That's number one. That's five single crochets. And then I'm going to do invisible decreases, which is just the front loop. There's no yarning over in between, just pick up both front loops, then you yarn over, finish the stitch. You can do whichever one you want, I'm just going to do invisible because I like it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it all depends on whether I'm doing 
decrease after decrease and this next round will be another decrease so I'm just going to do invisible so there's not a whole lot of gapping so you should have 36 stitches so our next round is going to be another decrease row and we're going to do four single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 30 stitches So that's number one. That's four single crochets and then your decrease and repeat. So you should have 30 stitches, so your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. And then we're going to go back into decreases after this. So we can start stuffing it soon. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 24 stitches. Next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 18 stitches and that's as far as we're going for his neck. That's two single crochets and then your decrease. So you can stuff it after this or before this, whatever you want. So I'm going to stop there and stuff it before it gets too small. Again, I like to push my stuffing out to the edge and then I'm going to pack it down around and then I fill the hole that I've dug. That's how I stuff. I feel it gives it a really nice it stuff's really nice, like you can't see any bulges from the outside because you pushed everything to the outside. So you're technically just filling the hole in the middle. But you also got to pack it down. So, not that I'm trying to teach you how to stuff, but stuffing is a technique <laughs> to be able to make your, your stuff look good. You got to stuff it properly. So you should have 18 stitches. For the next eight rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches, and that's going to be the neck. And then once we're done, we're going to sew the head on. So, 18 stitches for eight rows. Stuff as you go, and I will see you on the other side. So that's my eight rows and you can fasten off. Um, so there's no, I find my scissors, there's no um, sewing tail on the head because the way we built it. So this has to have a sewing tail to sew the head on. So we can stuff this. So mine is really stuffed, like overstuffed. And that's what I did with my last one too. Um, so I, I don't know if you've noticed my last one. Let me show you. 
I'm so cute with his head all turned. I sewed his head on all crooked like this, and I think he's just so cute, but you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying that that's what I did because I just think I'm so cute. Anyway, I digress. So you can sew your head on any way you want. Anyway, I grab some stuff up here, and then I grab some stuff down here. And that's how I do it all the way around. And then I pull. Now you can pull super tight after, but that is how I sewed mine on. So I'm just gonna kinda go. So you don't need to pick up much when you pick up down here. Just pick up a little bit because it's, it's a really good hold. And like I said, you don't need to pull tight right away. So you kinda got that wiggle room. Anyway. Go ahead and sew your stuff on, and I will see you right back here. So once I come all the way around I go around a second time and this time I go down lower and higher so higher up on the head and lower and I go around a second time and it's gonna give you the type of hold that is gonna be what you need to not have a wobbly head So I'm all the way back around again for my second go and I'm just going to go into this one little piece to make a knot that nobody will ever see. So push that right down and make it as small as you can and then in that same area I want you to start to weave so when you pull that in that knot gets pulled in and you'll never know, nobody will ever know it's there. So, arms and legs, and then tail. That's about all that we have left. And dots. So, arms first, because that's how the PDF is written. And with our brown, we're gonna make a magic ring of six single crochets. So your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. And it'll bring you up to 12 stitches. So after your first stitch, that's where the marker goes. For the next four rounds, still with your brown, you're going to do one single crochet in each stitch. So 12 stitches for four rounds. I'm going to weave in my tail just because it's annoying. But So one single crochet in each stitch for the next four rows. So this is my four rows. I am on my last stitch and I'm going to yellow. So I'm gonna pull up a loop and I'm gonna finish that stitch with my yellow. So you can do a color change any way that you do a color change that you're comfortable with. This is the way I'm comfortable with. off your brown, your yellow straggler, 
unless you're weaving. I don't like to weave. It makes one side fatter than the other. I hate that. So I don't weave. That's how I do it. So your next round with your yellow, we're going to start with one single crochet. And then we're going to do an SC3 tog which is basically crocheting three stitches together. So you're going to go into your first stitch, pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Go into your third stitch, pull up a loop. So you should have four loops on. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four. That's an SC3 tog. So the tog stands for together. So single crochet three together. And then we're going to do eight single crochets around to your marker. For the next 14 rows, you should have 10 stitches. For the next 14 rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 10 stitches. We're not stuffing anything on the arm in yellow. The only part we're stuffing is the brown. So you do not have to stuff as you go unless you want to. But the way I designed the giraffe, there is no stuffing in the arms in the yellow part. So this is what it should look like. Um, I didn't stuff my yellow, like I said. So um, I'm going to fasten off. We're going to whip stitch this end closed. So you just need a sewing tail. I'm running out of yellow. Don't need much of a sewing tail. It's just a small little thing to sew on. So I'll make sure that's on the side, and we're going to whip stitch this closed. My fingers are very sore and swollen today. I did a lot of crocheting yesterday. So I'm struggling to grab stuff like little needles like this. Actually you can probably see how swollen they are. So let's whip stitch this closed and then you can go ahead and make your second one. My second one's already done because I do videos. <laughs> so go ahead and make your second piece and I will just make sure you're stuffing these to be the same on the end so that they're the same size and I'll meet you back here and then we'll get the legs done. So the legs start off very similar to the, this is the leg. So it starts off very similar other than I put this little bit of a shape into it to make it look like a little bit of a foot. It's very vague, the shape. I don't even know why I bothered it. It, it came out very vague, but it's there. <laughs> so we're gonna do a magic ring of six single crochets. Your next round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch around. Your 
next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. That's three single crochets and then your increase of two single crochets in the same space. And this will give you 15 stitches when you're done. So I'll repeat this all the way around. So I can flip it. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 15 stitches and then we'll change to yellow. So I'm on my last stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to change to yellow. So this leg gets stuffed three quarters of the way and then literally that's where I stopped stuffing. I did not stuff this part because that's going to be what's under his body and you're going to sew it on at the magic ring on his bum bum. So I didn't stuff that much. So it's stuffed all the way down. Just so you know, we're going to do a decrease. We're going to do one single crochet decrease all the way around and this will bring you down to 10 stitches. So same size as the arm, that's one single crochet and then I'm just doing my front loop decrease, my invisible decrease. So you should have 10 stitches for the next 18 rows. You're going to put one single crochet in each of these 10 stitches. So that's my 18 rows. I stopped stuffing right about there. So I'm going to fasten off with a sewing tail and a whip stitching tail. So because I changed the design from giving it a little foot, <laughs> which I just got to kind of put this back to just a normal bottom, it doesn't really matter where your thing is on the side. So to avoid this little knot, I like to go through the first stitch first to pull that knot in and then I go back through the same stitch and begin my whip stitch. It just cuts down on that little bulgy thingy that you get there. So now that our legs are done, I'm going to put the pattern for the second leg. You can go build your second leg and then that'll be the end of this chapter. Uh, the final chapter is going to have the dots, the mane, and the tail, and I think that's all that's left. So it's going to be a short third chapter, but I'll see you in chapter three. Hi guys, welcome back to chapter three. So everything should be built that we can sew on now. So that's my arms and my legs. So we can get these sewn to the doll and then uh, 
move on to the mane and everything else. So these legs um, on my first guy, I put him them right like that near the magic ring. And then his arms, so on below his long neck, not. So you gotta just make sure that you're coming down below. I initially wrote nine rows, but that would be down here. So actually that's not bad. Yeah, nine rows. So there we go. Isn't he so cute? So this is the mane I did. That's the idea for the mane. That's what I did. Um, this is just a curly cue. So that's all we're going to do. It's pretty easy peasy. So if you want yours longer than mine. So I just did the back of the head. But if you want yours to go down the neck, then just do more chains. I did chain 25 and that that's literally starting at the top of the head here and just going down to the back that's a chain 25 but if you do want it longer then just make a longer chain that's all you gotta do so that's my chain 25 so all I did um, was two double crochets in every stitch all the way back down. So I missed, I skipped these first two stitches to make it a stitch. And then starting in the third, so 23 stitches you're going to use. But you're going to do two double crochets all the way back down in every single stitch other than the two we just skipped. So by two, I mean the one on your hook and then the next stitch and then you can start. So two double crochets each stitch all the way back down. You're going to have a curly cue and that's what we're using. So this is what I have. I know it's super dark, courtesy. This is what I have, my curly cue. So I just went back down here. This is my slip stitch um, that I started with. I just went back down there and I did a slip stitch and fastened off in that spot just to bring the two ends together. So you're gonna need a sewing tail. These two I tied even though I just used that space and they're kind of together anyway. I don't want that to come undone so I just tied it. So because I tagged it in spots, I can still move this around and find a good shape. So 
So let's move on to spots and then the tail. So I did different size dots. Let's start with the big one. Big one is a magic ring of six single crochets. You can decide what size, size you want to make. I did two single crochets in each stitch around. So I'm just going to count to 12. And then I did two single crochet increase four times. That's it. You can fasten off. That's the big one. And honestly, I only put, I think, one. I think I put one big one on them. But you can do whatever you want again. So that's the big dot. That's the big one there that I put on them. And then the other ones were the medium and then the small ones. Medium and small, small on his head. So the medium is just a magic ring of six single crochets and then two single crochets in each stitch round. And then the small is just a magic ring of six single crochets. So I'm going to put this on my screen and you can make your dots and I'll meet you right back here. So I got my spots all sewn on. I just did the one at the back. One on his head. So I can add more later after the video is done. You can always just add more later. So last but not least is the tail. So this is the tail. It's just a chain done with brown and then I used black to that I added to the end and then I just kind of frilled it all out. I actually didn't brush it, I just undid it, so undid the yarn, so you can make your chain as long as you want. Um, I did a chain 13, but it's all up to you. That's my 13th chain. I'm going to fasten off with sewing tail, just a little one. So in the first stitch that I made, that's where I put all the black and then I just cut this off short. So this is, uh, what is this? This black that I'm using, I don't know how well it's going to come apart. It's Karen Simply Soft, but I think it comes apart pretty good. So I just opened my fingers nice and wide and I wrapped. You don't need much, that's for sure. So I'll just wrap a few times. So.
So once I cut it, I'm going to cut it this way too. So these pieces seem long, but um, you can give it a trim after. Put my tag back in there. I'm so bad for not keeping my tags. So this is your sewing end. So, so you're going to go in to your end here, which is just your slip knot. End. Mine's nice and tight. I'm not sure why. Fold your piece in half. You're going to put it on your hook and pull through. And then, oops, yarn over with both these pieces and pull through. So your, your slip knot is going to undo. And then you're going to put in as many as you want. So I think that's good for me because I'm going to spread these all out. So just pull your slip knot closed again. It's going to keep popping open, but so then each one of these I just untwisted. So now that you've got it all unraveled and everything, we can just sew it to the bum bum. And then you can probably give your giraffe a little haircut on his tail. And that is it. Pretty easy peasy. So that is it. That's our little, that's our little giraffe. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you in the next video.